The reason we're offering first trimester testing to all new moms, first of all, as the American College of OBGYN recommends it, but also because this can provide a lot of reassurance to parents to know that the major chromosome problems, such as Down syndrome and other chromosome problems, are being screened for in a way that doesn't invade the pregnancy, doesn't harm the pregnancy, it's just a blood test from mom. This test is looking at some proteins and hormones that the baby and placenta are producing. Those show up in mom's bloodstream. And that gives us an idea of whether this pregnancy is at high risk or low risk for those particular chromosome problems. Besides the blood test, we're also looking at a particular measurement on an early pregnancy. Around 11 to 13 weeks, we're looking at the next skin fold on the back of the baby's head. So we're looking at a little dark area that's sandwiched between the skin, and that'll show us if that area is increased with some fluid, that there may be increased risk of heart problems for the baby in the future, or of genetic problems such as chromosome abnormalities. If we have a look at that first trimester testing and everything looks reassuring at that time, there's really no reason to go for further with additional testing because you can get a very good idea of what your risks are. However, if we look at that next skin fold or we look at those balance of proteins and hormones and it starts to indicate that there might be some increased risk of a problem, you're going to want to come back and have a further conversation is it time to have an additional blood test that actually looks at fetal DNA floating through mom's bloodstream? Is it time to think about a more invasive test, CVS or chorionic villus sampling, which is a placental biopsy? Are you someone that might be a candidate for an amniocentesis? These tests are designed to screen out women who don't have that risk and don't need to go further and screen in women who may, may want to consider those further tests. In addition to specifically looking for the most common chromosome problems, we're also offering genetic screening for problems such as cystic fibrosis, spinal muscular atrophy, fragile X syndrome. These are common syndromes that can occur in families, and if you happen to match up with a partner that also carries a gene for those problems, that can have devastating results for a pregnancy. So we want to be able to reassure parents right away that there is no risk for those problems in their particular pregnancy. In fact, those genetic disorders can be tested for even prior to getting pregnant. In fact, if a woman has an increased risk for, let's say, cystic fibrosis, she could then have further testing on the baby either through cell-free fetal DNA or through an amniocentesis, actually looking at the baby's DNA through invasive testing. The major benefit of having this genetic testing is for reassurance because the huge majority of the time we're going to give you happy news. In those few cases where the news is not good, for instance, I've hold, held up cystic fibrosis as an example before. If I knew a baby I was carrying had cystic fibrosis, I would want to make sure my pediatrician was aware of that for immediate treatment of my baby at delivery. It might make me consider some additional things before I would conceive again in the future. So there are things that may make a difference in your delivery room care, there are things that would make a difference in your further care of your child after they're born, and potentially things that would change for you pre-pregnancy in the future. In addition to first trimester genetic testing, you'll also hear about people having further evaluation in the second trimester. There may be what's called a quad screen done, where we're testing for spina bifida as well as chromosome problems. A very detailed ultrasound can also give you a lot of great information about your baby being beautifully put together with normal structure and many questions about function can be answered as well. If you have that detailed ultrasound and there are no soft findings or soft markers that lean toward a genetic problem or a chromosome problem, the likelihood of having a chromosome problem is cut in half by that very normal ultrasound. I find there's two types of people. There are people who would rather go along blithely unaware and just have whatever happens happened at the time of delivery and feel very comfortable with that. Other people that I call information seekers, the more they can check off their list before that baby's born and know, okay, we're not worried about this, we're not worried about that, the more comfortable they are with the whole pregnancy experience. They get better bonding with their baby even before delivery. So for information seekers, I highly recommend this genetic screening. I think there are people for whom Getting pregnant in the first place was so miraculous. For instance, they may have had previous pregnancy losses. They may be an older mom. There are people for whom this is the end all and be all for them. They're taking what they get. They don't want anything 
to potentially say you're at higher risk for a problem, you may have to think about things more along the way, they just want to get through this pregnancy and have this baby. Those families really pull back from genetic testing and that's their prerogative. We definitely support that. I also want to emphasize that even if you found out that your child might have a particular problem, no one is going to pressure a family into having further invasive testing, anything that might cause their pregnancy any risk. This is completely your pregnancy, your issue, your decision to make. And no one pressures. We give you all the information you could possibly want and you choose. I love working at Shawnee Mission Medical Center. I think it's a combination of the experience of the nursing staff, the support of the administration here for all things that have to do with mothers and babies. We feel very supported here. We can provide very much state-of-the-art, up-to-date equipment and information for moms and dads. And it's a loving, beautiful experience for families to have their pregnancy cherished here. I'm Elizabeth Wickstrom, and I'm a maternal fetal medicine specialist with Shawnee Mission Medical Center.